Well, I'm gonna do one more video real quick. The other one turned out so well. I like this hands-free stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, okay, I wanna talk about my millennials. I love you, I really do. One I adore in particular, and she, I worked with her a couple years ago, and she was into this thing called techno swing, and I'll get into that in a minute, because for some reason, millennials think, seem to think that they're hipper than the rest of society for some fucking reason, because they discovered the 50s. Well, guess what? The 50s were actually lived by the people that you snub your nose at, so you might wanna rethink that whole thing. And there was another reason why I worry for my millennials, is that if they try, I mean, you want to do a positive spin on everything, I agree, but at the same time, you want to acknowledge the situation, right? Like hipsters, millennials, they like to consider themselves full-time travelers. You're homeless, babe. You got no home. You got no place to stay. You're sleeping in your car. That's homeless. But hey, if you want to call it traveling full-time and do little videos and shit of how amazing it is being homeless, that's cool. Give back to the people around you that are really, really homeless, that are mentally ill. Just throwing that out there because there's a lot of mentally ill people in the world. A lot of mentally ill veterans. Please support your veterans. If you find one on the street, for the love of God, feed him. Give him some clothing. Give him a bath. I don't care. You know what I mean? They need help. They're not getting it from the, the people that are in charge. They're supposed to be protecting these people. So I love you millennials. Do your part. You, you can rise above it. The 50s were amazing. I agree. And the 60s were cool too. Wait till you get to the 70s. It's awesome. Anyway, <clears throat> just want to throw that out there. And another thing I noticed about among the millennials is a new fad of dabbing. We're not dabbing, sorry. It's micro, micro dosing with LSD. I, I've talked in previous videos about what you put into your body. And like I said, I'm not perfect. I still got the ego going. But I love my marijuana. I love it. It's compared to what I was taking before. I was like I said, I was taking Norco's and ibuprofen on at nauseum, and it was killing me. Finally, I broke free of that crap, and I smoke marijuana when I have to. When my back is really crazy, it's not right now. I'm doing good, but when it goes, when my back goes, I look like a 60. I'm like, I'm not even freaking kidding. My dad, who's what, oh, damn near 80, was was busting my balls about that when I was with, over there because I hurt my back. I don't know if it was the rack or whatever, but it's just a combination of, you know, people juju me and all this other fun stuff. So I just want you to know that what you put in your body is important and you want to be focused. You want to be clear. I mean, you never know what's going to happen in your life and you don't want to be, you know, high on shrooms. You know what I mean? None of that shit is necessary in your life. You want to be clear minded and clear bodied. You know what I mean? Especially nowadays when you're dealing with these crazy fuckers out here trying to tell you how to live and where to go and to mask up everywhere you go. That is just... I'll do a video on just masking alone. That's just horrible. Uh, especially when you see kids. They don't understand this shit, people. They don't understand the propaganda and control mechanisms. They just know that they're living in fear now because of some assholes. Plain and simple. So rise above it. Be careful what you put in your body. Alcohol is a big no-no. Don't do it. Just give it up. Fuck it. Stop it. Smoke a joint. It's legal pretty much everywhere. You can get it in a store. Just walk into a store and get it. And if you're... If your state doesn't legalize it, you need to talk to somebody because they're assholes. Like I said, Obama betrayed everybody when he didn't legalize it federally when he had the chance. He's a piece of shit. Anyway, I digress because I live in love and light. So just avoid the psychedelics, people. You know, ayahuasca. Here's another thing. Let's just dive into ayahuasca for a second. This is a shamanistic tradition. Shamans take it. I am a shaman. I've done my, my share of vision quests, and I, and I let it go. I got my vision and I moved on to help the people. You don't need to do ayahuasca. You're, you don't need to do ayahuasca to, to heal your childhood traumas, to find out the things that are wrong in your life. You need to go out in solitude, meditate. And if you need to fast a little bit, that's good too. But I'm just telling you, there's, the psychedelics are unnecessary for your life. And it confuses your mind. Like I said, if you're a shaman and you're planning on being a shaman and you're going to go out into the world and help people, then sure, do your vision quest. Do your ayahuasca. Because that's basically what it was always for was the shaman in the tribe. Not for everybody and their mama. You know what grandma tripping on ayahuasca? She don't need that. She's making some tortillas. Don't leave her the fuck alone. Don't. don't you don't need to be confusing people with, with unnecessary plants and drugs. Like I said, marijuana is my thing. I will... I will promote it because I, I know it's the truth. It works for me. I mean, like I said, I'm not Rastafarian. Not that there's anything wrong with that. 
If you can get away with smoking weed all day, God bless. But I just can't do that. I need to focus and do things. Driving, no, no bueno. So you gotta think about everything you do in this life, everything you put in your body, because your body is a temple, and it is the temple. Not some place where you go and sit down and listen to some asshole. This is the temple, right here, babe. So love the temple, love yourself. Whew. Okay, that was just a little passionate about that too, because I don't want, I don't want to be being led astray. I don't, I don't want anybody thinking they're on the high ground and they're spitting down on other people. That no, no, no. You don't want to, you don't want to punch down people. You want to, if somebody's crawling up, you want to give them a hand up onto that high ground. If you know that they're righteous, please. But you got to stay righteous in your own matters. Okay. Oh, that's it. I just wanted to throw that out real quick. Hope you liked the last video. I thought it was kind of jazzy. Anyway, <clears throat> I might do some more free hands videos. My projection value might go up a little bit. You never know. I don't know where this is leading. I'm just hoping that it gets somewhere and it touches somebody's heart. And maybe you laugh. Maybe you go, oh, that guy's an idiot. But either way, you're watching it. That's good. So, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is really digging your swing, baby. Keep that techno swing going. I love it. Anyway, okay, have a wonderful day. Can't wait till we get to the 70s. Okay, there's the sun again. Hey.